Hey guys, this is Mickey from Mickey's Antique Amusements in Rochester, New York and coinopnewyork.com and we're looking at a 1958 Seaberg 161 model and this video is about securing the Seaberg mechanism for shipment and how to take off the mechanism cover uh, doing it the right way. So let's start with the mechanism cover. Um, if you're going to do it, you have to take off the screw here and the screw here um, and then this has to be lifted up and then when you take it off it's got to be pulled straight up and when you put it back on if you look very carefully over here you can sort of see it's notched out here so it's got to fit over this little horseshoe cut out right here okay and it needs to be lined up there's a hole underneath here I'm not going to take this off See the link in the bottom of my video for what it looks like underneath. I'll have a link to show you how to oil the turntable motor. So click on the link down below and you'll be able to see that. And you also want to center your, your uh, mechanism by using this. So if you push this to the right, the mechanism will start to travel back and forth. Wherever you want to stop it, if you push this red button twice, like that, it'll stop where you want it to start. Stop. Right now I have it stopped in the middle. Right? If you want to make selections, you got to make sure it's to the right. If it's not to the right, it will never make selections. So you want the mech to start traveling. There it goes. If I want it to stop, push the red button twice, and it stops. You see, if I want to play a selection, I have to put it there, and I can push my, my numbers and it'll make a selection. All right, now let's talk about shipping. You're gonna ship one of these. Let's put this down. It's very important that you do a couple things. First of all, you have these, these nuts right here, and you can sort of see they're loose. And you want them loose. You can sort of see, I can, you want them all the way up. When you're tightening them, tightening them, tightening them down, you're going to push down on the mechanism and you're going to tighten them all the way down. Okay, as far as it'll go, nice and tight. Same thing over here. Okay, you want these loose when you're playing it. So when if you get a jukebox shipped to you, okay, these are going to be down, tightened. So the first thing you want to do when, if you ever get a jukebox shipped to you, once it's unpacked and all the styrofoam and all the stuff is, is you want to loosen these so they're in the up position. So this mechanism floats. You see that there's play there? Okay. Same thing over here. Right? This is loose. Well, this is when, when if, if you were to get a jukebox shipped to you, this would be tightened down. You're going to have to loosen these. See how that's nice and loose? That's number one, okay? So the mech would be centered. The four bolts will be tightened down. And then what I normally like to do is get a, an old toilet paper roll, not with any toilet paper on, just the cardboard one, put it over that. And then I usually get some priority mailboxes, you know, the kind you ship at the post office. They're empty. And I just fill in here and here and that takes up any room for movement of the mechanism. So when you get your jukebox, after they come and they take all the foam away, all the packing, you know, if you pack the jukebox right and you have foam board on the right and the front and shrink wrap and they bring it in your home and they bring it in the living room and they unwrap it and unshrink wrap it and all that, one of the first things you're gonna do is open it up and you're gonna take the priority mailboxes away you're going to take the toilet roll paper off right that little tube out of there and then you're going to loosen these four bolts right right you can't play the jukebox unless you loosen the four bolts right then you've got this this ridge right here with these little notches in here you want to put some some lithium grease on here occasionally maybe once every six months to a year because this is where the clutch clutch rides along here it needs to be have a little lubrication in there for the friction okay so see how that's nice and loose 
There's lots of play in that mechanism. This needs to be tight. So that's how you prep a jukebox for shipping. That's how it's done. And uh, it's really important that it's done right. So when it's in shipment, it's not damaged. So when you get your jukebox, these are some of the things you got to do. And then, of course, then you go around back and you get your power cord, you fish it out, and, you, and then you're ready to go. And then you can follow some other videos. If you follow what I do on YouTube, you'll understand uh, how to put records in and title strips. I have a link for that video. If you want to watch that video, I'll put the link in there and uh, that sort of thing. So there you go. That's how it's done. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube videos, and thanks for watching. Um, if you have an old jukebox you want to sell that's non-working, give me a call. I'm located in Rochester, New York. My name's Mickey. My number is 585-747-0605, and I buy jukeboxes all over the United States, and I enjoy talking to people, and I appreciate your uh, business. So give me a call. Don't be shy. Pick up the phone. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.